so this quarter's book club lineup is full of fierce protagonists. Um, and hello, Hoopla Libraries. This one is a librarian, which is everyone's favorite hero, right? Uh, so the main character here is Cussie, and Cussie is a Kentucky Pack Horse librarian. Um, and as if that job alone weren't tough enough, she's also a blue. Yes, her skin is actually um, a shade of blue, which unfortunately invokes some feelings of indifference or lack of confidence or even um, something akin to racism in some people that she comes across along her journey. Um, she doesn't come from much. Her life in general is pretty tough. Um, and her dad is really wonderful, but he's also convinced that the only way to make her life better is to marry her off, right? And uh, this process is really tough to read. So the men who come calling not only treat her less because she's a blue, but some are just downright abusive. So despite her dad's best intentions. Um, this is causing her a lot of grief when all she really, really, really wants to do is just ride her horse around the hills and deliver books to people. That's all she wants to do, spread the love of literature, right? So this book is ultimately a great read despite all the adversity. Um, I always love a book that teaches me something new or lets me delve into a subject that I either didn't know about or want to know more about. Um, so with this one, I knew nothing about the blues. So Cussie's blue skin color um, is actually a real condition and apparently um, it is a possible recessive trait. And so Troublesome Creek is, like the title of the book, The Book Woman of Troublesome Creek, um, is a real area in Kentucky and there lived a family named the Fugates. And uh, the Fugates carried this recessive gene um, and we know this because four of their seven children were blue. And so despite being ostracized a bit, and that hurts, um, this actually didn't seem to affect them. Like they led pretty healthy lives. Um, one of their ancestors actually lived to be 84 years old and had over a dozen children. Um, but I didn't know that this was possible. So apparently uh, there's something going on in the blood where the oxygen doesn't bind to the hemoglobin and the people are blue. So Cussy in the book is blue. Um, I knew of, but I didn't know a lot about the Kentucky Pack Horse Library Project. So um, I learned from the book itself, but then I was like so fascinated by this that I did some of my own reading. Um, and apparently during the Great Depression, obviously it hit the whole country really hard, but it hit Kentucky even harder, um, not just financially, um, but because the people were having a hard time getting an economic leg up um, because the education system wasn't great. So over 30% of, of Kentucky in the 1930s could not read. Um, so part of that's the education system, but part of it is just simple access to books. So because of the hilly, kind of craggy landscape, just getting to the library to borrow a book was impossible for a lot of people who lived in these rural areas. Um, and so uh, at the time, um, Kentucky's like circulation ratio um, per capita was one book where uh, I was reading the American Library Association statistics and it was like five to ten books everywhere else. Uh, so pretty dire, right? Um, so there weren't ebooks or hoopla back in the day, so something had to be done uh, to help the people of Kentucky learn to read. Um, and so as part of the New Deal, previous efforts to circulate books by horse were formally adopted and funded. And so in 1935, the Pack Horse Library um, project really got going. Local areas um, hosted book storage in like any building they could. So at the post office, at the church, that became the library. That's where the books were held. Um, and then librarians uh, picked the books up from the outpost and they traveled by horse or in Cussie's case, mule, which is like its own character in the book, right? It's very stubborn. It's great. Um, some of them would travel um, like at least twice a month and their routes would be like 100 to 120 miles, which maybe doesn't seem too crazy, but also there were like mountains and creeks and forests. So it was pretty hard. Um, so from 1935 to 1943, um, the Real Librarians, our character Cussy, is based on delivered books across the land. And then in 1946, the bookmobile projects really started going. And so um, Kentucky kind of became the biggest concentration of bookmobiles, which really takes us to this day, right? My library has a bookmobile. It's pretty cool. Um, so I think historical fiction is grand. And I hope that you learn something new, too.